Is the U.S. winning this war? Is Iraq uh, winning this war? Well, multiple tours in Iraq and Afghanistan are stressing the ranks of Kira the Kira Phillips military. earned her stripes at CNN as an award-winning journalist, covering everything from the Iraq war to gay marriage to oil spills in the Gulf. You're seeing it for the first time uh, since the uh, oil disaster here in the Gulf. Phillips has won five Emmy Awards, two Edward R. Murrow Awards, and the prestigious National Reporter of the Year Award from Associated Press. She joined CNN in 1999 and quickly became a celebrated war correspondent. She covered the Afghan war in 2001 and was the first female journalist to fly in an F-14 air-to-air combat training mission over the Persian Gulf. Phillips completed four tours in Iraq. I think one of the most powerful moments in my life was when I covered the war in Iraq. Ten-year-old Mohammed Hashim teaches me the Iraqi sign for freedom. He's heard a lot about that word. The most memorable stories that I did were on the schools where there were kids with disabilities. Down syndrome, all types of different mental challenges. Bombs are going off and these kids are getting up every morning and they are going to school and they are dealing with challenges beyond, you know, what we could ever imagine. Today, Phillips is the brilliant and irrepressible anchor of her own headline news network show, Raising America with Kira Phillips. Raising our kids, it's a blessing. Um, it's also really stressful. Her husband, Fox News anchor John Roberts, believes it is her unique personality that is at the core of her achievements. I wish I had half the drive, determination, tenacity, and creativity that she has. I mean, she is just this ebullient, effervescent bundle of energy that you would never ever want to try to rein in because every time she does something more incredible than the time before. In addition to interviewing Mother Teresa, producing in the South Pole, and going to Top Gun School, she will tell you that getting brailers, a sort of typewriter in braille, to the kids at the Baghdad School of the Blind is a highlight of her career. They'll never forget that day in Baghdad when those brailers arrived and seeing those Iraqi kids. It was then that I realized, wow, I'm able to take my love for kids with disabilities and my profession and my thinking as a mother and just put it all together and do it for a greater good. Her own childhood story helps to underscore her passion for the differently abled and her support of the Global Down Syndrome Foundation. My mom um, was a teacher for the deaf, so I was always around kids that had various issues, and my grandfather as well, and my grandmother. They both were teachers for the deaf and worked with kids um, that had uh, multiple issues. My sister uh, is mentally challenged, as we like to say, and she's 51 years old now. But I remember times where I had to stick up for her, that people were maybe making fun of her, and I had to get up and get in their face. She's really interesting in that if somebody has been dealt a card that's not as good as somebody else's card. She'll do whatever she can to try to help that person. Phillips often cites her grandfather as being the most important influence in her life. My grandpa was my dad, my mentor, my spiritual advisor, my best friend, my everything. He was just an amazing human being and I always wanted to be like him. He ended up being the superintendent for the Illinois School for the Deaf. He took it all the way to the top. He was a real game changer. I knew that I had to carry on his legacy and what better way to do that through kids and helping kids. And that's what he was all about and he had taught me to be loving and compassionate. Phillips and her husband are older parents of twins, Kellen and Sage, fast approaching three years old. We tried awfully hard to have kids. She was 42, I was 54, and we both decided that regardless of what the tests show, we were going to go forward with the pregnancy. I remember getting pregnant. I'm an older mom, and the doctor told me about I had very high chances of having a child with Down syndrome, and I just wanted to be informed. That's why this prenatal pamphlet that the Global Down Syndrome Foundation has put together is so important. In 2011, Phillips joined the inaugural Be Beautiful, Be Yourself Gala in D.C. and felt like part of the global family immediately. I get asked to do all kinds of different functions for charity. There 
is just nothing like the event in DC with Global Down Syndrome Foundation. And the kids, it's funny, they just leave their escorts behind, senators, members of Congress, athletes, all these famous people, my husband. It's like, see you later, I'm gonna go do my thing. Since that first DC event, Phillips has become a staunch advocate for the Global Down Syndrome Foundation. The foundation is so important because it's, it's not just bringing awareness, it's talking about research, it's, it's advocacy, it's being on the hill and testifying and saying, this is why we need funding. That's why this foundation is so important because it encompasses everything that you need as a parent, as a family with a child that has Down syndrome. Here's what's so incredible about the C's. They created an institute, the Cernic Institute. I've met amazing doctors through this foundation, like Dr. Blumenthal. I mean, that man is brilliant. And what he's doing uh, for the cause is just phenomenal. And she is a staunch advocate for federal funding to underwrite research in medical care benefiting people with Down syndrome. You're talking about 400,000 people in the United States that have Down syndrome. Six million people worldwide. Why would you ever want to cut funding? Phillips is excited to join Quincy Jones as an international spokesperson for the Global Down Syndrome Foundation. Quincy Jones is such the perfect spokesperson for the foundation because he just has touched so many different people's lives through music and advocacy and being a dad with so many beautiful children and he's close with his family. He reaches the world, which is what we need. We have to do everything we can to number one, change this stereotype, this stigma, this attitude um, that people have about individuals with Down syndrome. And if we bring about more awareness and we have more inspirational individuals out there that have Down syndrome, it just shows people what they're missing. For her lifelong dedication to improving the lives of people with Down syndrome and all those who are differently abled, we are proud to present Kira Phillips with the 2013 Quincy Jones Exceptional Advocacy Award.